So in this video, we're going to be talking about DIY VTuber or virtual YouTuber. Now, if you're trying to get into this whole thing about virtual YouTubers, there's a couple of things that you're going to need. And the very first thing that you have to find is obviously your 3D avatar or your 3D model. Now, if you're not familiar with 3D modeling, it could be pretty scary trying to get into this thing. So... A couple of weeks ago, I think, actually it was just last week, I made a video about this character, the Epic Marketplace, where you can purchase models for Unreal Engine 4. And I talked about the Archer Girl. When we talked about it last week, I told you that the Archer Girl actually has blend shapes. Pretty much, she has bones for facial expressions, but she didn't have a lot. She maybe had like 18 to 21. And for AR, Apple AR kit, you're going to need 51 or so to get pretty much the best quality, pretty much all of the blend shapes as much as you can. So I talked to this modeler, Ida Faber, Ida Faber, I probably butchered that name, and I told her like, hey, Archer Girl was great, and I showed her the video and I said, but people are going to be more interested about your models if you have, you know, more than just 21 um, bones or blend shape when people buy your product, it's literally just plug and play. And that's really what we're going to be talking about right now is now she updated her bunny girl to have the blend shapes I was talking about. So if I click here, you're going to see that update up Apple blend shapes for live link face. So that's good. And I'm going to go back here and she's smart enough to actually put the logo of the live link face app on her models so she also came out with this character kitsune today which also has all the blend shapes so i think for less than 50 dollars, i'm pretty sure she's the first person to do this in uh in the marketplace which is amazing because now you can use a body mocap for your vtuber and you can use your iphone as a facial motion capture all in unreal engine 4 so you don't have to know how to 3d model now you don't have to get a 3d model and convert and create blend shapes so what i'm going to show you is just get a little preview on what's about to come i'm going to show you how easy it is to plug this in to my motion capture data and live link face using my iphone and then obviously in the future tutorials i know a lot of people have been wondering about this vtuber thing because it's getting popular in the united states even though it came out in japan like 2018 it's starting to make it here in the united states first off like i said we're going to talk about the 3d model because it's probably the most important part you're going to need your 3d avatar before you even worry about motion capture or facial motion capture and the software so here we are i got it i already created a project with it so let's open it up right here you can see it's kitsune now she has a couple of mesh that's available here i mean we can just start dragging and dropping it here so she has all these ones, but what we're going to do is just focus on this main one right here. So I'll just delete these. Additionally, if you want to get around, you know, making video games and so on and so forth, if you're advanced like that, she also has the mesh separated on all different pieces so you can create this in a blueprint or whatever you want to do with it. Okay, to do this, let's go back to the mesh. We're going to click this mesh, which is this one right here. I'm going to right click to that and then just go create, add in blueprint, and we're going to name this kit, kits kits i don't know what to call it so i'm gonna double click this and it's gonna open up the details panel i'm gonna go to my plugins make sure that live link is actually turned on so i'm gonna have live link turned on i'm gonna have the apple ar kit turned on for face support so it's gonna support our iphone 12 mini that i have and then i'm also gonna turn on neuron live link which is my motion capture suit plug-in for Unreal Engine 4. And like I said, I am going to talk about motion capture stuff and facial capture stuff later on. I'm just trying to get you started with this 3D avatar right here so you can kind of see it, all right? So I'm going to exit out of that, and I'm just going to create a... I'm going to right-click right here, do live link pose. Okay, I'm going to make this bigger right here, and I'm going to create another one for live link pose. Okay, I'm going to compile and save it. I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to go to the skeleton. And what I'm going to do is actually, and if you get this funny thing here, if you go to preview mesh up here, if you go to this one, no, that's the hair. So you got a couple of meshes here. That's the animation. I think it is hair buns. Okay, I think that's the one we have. So you want to learn Unreal Engine 4, but majority of the videos out there are for video game creations. 
Or maybe I can help with that. I just created a beginner's course on how to make a movie inside Unreal Engine 4. In an hour and 40 minutes, I'm gonna teach you how to install Unreal Engine 4 to create your very first CG animation. Unreal Engine is the future, and this video is the perfect introduction to it. Okay, so we're gonna go to the skeleton, upper arm, and we're gonna put her in a T-pose because my um, my motion capture plugin accepts T-pose. It might be different for other companies, but so far I've only used Perception Neuron. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you how I'm I would do something like this. So go right here. I'm gonna create an asset, create animation, current pose, and we're gonna just name this T-pose. Yo, I'm gonna go ahead and press OK. Minimize that. That's okay. I'm gonna go back to that blueprint, and I'm gonna go minimize this. T pose yo. I'm gonna drag and drop it there. Connect this to the live link post. Connect the live link post to the live link post, and this to the output post. All right. So I'm gonna compile and then save. Now you're gonna see there's kind of flow of things, and now she's in a T pose. Okay. I'm gonna go to my Axis Neuron, which is the software that I use for my motion capture stuff. I'm going to go open up and I'm going to open just something, maybe one of these idle ones right here. So you can kind of just see that we can drive that character Kitsune from my motion capture uh, software in Unreal Engine 4 using the plugin. Now, obviously, additionally, I can have my suit on right now and feed it live as well. But for this tutorial right here, let me just show you how you can work this here. Well, right now, what we're doing is kind of like an offline motion capture because I don't have the suit on right now. This is just something that I recorded previously. All right, so let's take a look at the window here. And I'm going to reset the current layout because I think I messed it up a little bit. And let's take a look at this motion capture. It's really just me talking or whatever. That's fine. I already have everything else set up. And like I said, I'm going to make a different video about this later. I'm going to press a loop right here. And I'm going to press play. So this is going to be broadcasting live. I'm going to minimize here. I'm going to go to live link source and then we're going to change this to 7002. Boom. Now you see that character. It's coming from my Axis Studio. So that is good. I'm going to go back to the blueprint. Now we're going to do the body first and we're going to go character one. As soon as I compile and save, you're going to see now that's actually going to be moving there. You see it right here. The head's already moving, which is good. So next thing we need to do is click on this live link post and we're going to go to UE4 live link map asset. Now that comes standard. So we're going to see that everything shifts and moves. And now if I take this girl, I go to blueprint and I go to kits. There you go. So you can see she's frozen right now. That's because we don't have a live link skeletal component right here. Just like that. And there you go. Now it's copying the axis motion on her body just like that pretty cool stuff okay so now what do we do with the live link face app again super easy I'm gonna turn on the app like I said I'm gonna be giving you guys a more detailed version of this but basically I just turn on the app it's already set up and you're gonna see it's already right here my Apple phone's name is TV Roku for some reason that's kind of weird we're gonna go back to the blueprint and now we're gonna add the second live link post to TV Roku compile and save and now you can see that I am controlling both motion capture and face. And now, like I said, she has a lot more blend shapes. Her and Bunny Girl have a lot more blend shapes than the Archer Girl, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the kits. So I can kind of just show you what the blend shapes are. You can see all of that right here is already targeted to Apple AR which is amazing and this is a lot of hard work and she is doing you guys a lot of favor and by the way i'm not getting paid to promote this lady i'm just showing you guys some options that you can use so you can go ahead and get started with this virtual youtuber thing so if i actually click simulate pretty sure she, yeah she has physics on those which is kind of cool it should move around I mean, obviously, right now it looks messed up because my motion capture, I didn't account for those things. So it's going to look a little bit messy. But in your motion capture, whenever you're moving it, you just got to make sure your arm's a little bit wider. Because obviously with mine, it was a light tighter because I was not thinking about wearing this exact dress when I was mo-capping it. That's pretty much it, guys, for this video. I'm just giving you an introduction on 
DIY uh, VTubers so you don't have to model your own in DAS, in Relution, or Marmoset, whatever, Maya, whatever toolkit you use. You can just purchase something from the Epic Marketplace and just plug everything in. We could have legit set this up in probably two minutes and that would have been it.